Our first lesson is taken from the Psalm number 84. My soul longs, yea, even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young. Even your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose heart is set upon pilgrimage. They go from strength to strength. O God, behold, you are our shield. Look upon the face of your anointed, for a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God, than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed are those who trust in you. Amen. The Lord is a sun and a shield. Do you know what a shield is, children? Is there anything shielding me right now? Not really, not really. Now, these are just pretend. I just have some pretend shields. They wouldn't do a whole lot of good if, say, I was driving down the street on my motorcycle and a rock flew up and hit me. Probably this flimsy plastic. But it reminds us of what a strong shield could be, right? Because if this were made out of metal, like a shield could be. And this were also made out of metal. Have any of you ever worn a helmet? Yeah, where do you wear a helmet, Abby? On a bike, yeah. So when I ride a bike, I wear a shield to shield my head. And if I'm riding a fast bike, I have also a face shield that goes over my motorcycle. So it says the Lord is a sun and a shield. Where's the sun right now? Luke, do you know where the sun is? I think the sun is shining on me right now. Right up there, way up high. Is that the Lord? Is that the Lord himself? It says the Lord is a sun and a shield. When the Word talks about things like this, it's to help us think. All by myself, can I be my own sunshine? I mean, I'm bright, but I'm not that bright, right? You're bright, but you're not that bright. You're not your own sunshine. You need the sunshine from the sun up there in order to make things grow or to get warm. The sun's getting lower and lower, and the earth's turning away from the sun, so winter's on its way. It's going to get colder. And then when spring comes, it's because the earth turns more towards the sun, and it gets warmer and warmer. We need the sun to be warm. We don't make our own warmth. We're not our own sunshine, as bright as you are. And we also need the Lord to protect us. So it talks about the Lord being like a sun, giving us life, giving us warmth, giving us love. And the Lord is a sun that protects us as well. The Lord protects us from going into darkness with that sunshine light. The Lord protects us from going into selfish, cold loves that only want our own things. So he's a shield. And also, if you think about things from the word and you decide you want to do something wrong, you can use the word as a shield to protect you from evil spirits. The Lord's angels are in the word with us, protecting us. So the Lord as a shield helps us see what's right and wrong and hold back, and protect us from things hitting us too hardly. Because when things hit the Lord's word and hit the truth against the Lord's, of the Lord's word, it bounces off. It says that angels in heaven can simply look, just look at an evil spirit. And the evil spirit is sent away. They're afraid to come too close to angels. Because with the angel is the Lord's love. And the angels have a shield of truth and goodness and mercy that's so powerful that it repels or puts off it's a shield that evil spirits can't handle. The Lord is a sun and a shield. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. We ask the Lord to help us.
to walk the right way, to walk according to the things of his word, to help us hear what he says to us and understand, to help us see him as our son, that is, as the brightest thing in our lives. Put ourselves aside. Let the Lord be the brightest thing. And also let him protect us when we need help. Turn to his word. Think about things that we know from his word that keep us in the right pathway and turn us away from the things that are wrong. Amen.